Much like the last creature. I gotta jump. So those seem like the dream worlds. Twice I've entered that place and I've jumped at the end. <sighs> I don't know what to make of it. The Leap. Chapter 9. Now we're in the subway. This is where I entered in, right? This is what I went towards. But it just delayed. We're almost there, Leviathan. The final step between me and the old city's upon us. I wish I could take you along. What do you mean? Okay, nothing there. You wish you could take me along. Is he talking to me, or am I the Minotaur? Is that me speaking to someone else? I'm not sure. But it looks like we're heading towards the old city. Will you remember me? After all, I could never forget you. And how can I even begin to thank you for all that you've done for me? You protected me from a world that I was too weak to bear. But now the distant shores of another reality are calling me home. To something I've never seen before. A dangerous and unpredictable world lies ahead of me. But I'm ready to let loose the sails. So, the green pipes have been mentioned as leading from the old city. So I'm going to head towards those. There's a pathway to the right there that I could have went down, but I feel like I need to follow this. What is this? What does that say? I'm curious, this arrow symbol right here It's a whale. There's an arrow pointing to the whale. It's a boat, sails. The eye of the minotaur. Everything's pointing. Certainty, deduction. Fence, fonts. Is that supposed to be smokestack? Some over there. That's not it. Some over there. That's not it either. Oh, so interesting. Here it is. The leap. <sighs> Goodbye, my old friend. Watch your step. Wait. Do I have to do this? Is this what this is all about? Making this leap? No, I'm going back. I'm going back to the other pathway. I gotta see what this is. That doesn't seem right. Although, making the leap... No, I gotta see what's over here. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> I don't like... I don't like the idea. What happens if I go over here? Is it just a dead end? Might just be. I mean, fortunate it takes a while to walk. It just kind of seems inevitable. That's where I have to head to. Sharon Station. There's a door here, though. Alright. What's here? I guess this is a dead end. Maybe this is something extra. Want to sail? Travel in style. Okay, the arrow's this way. Hold on. 
It started when I was a child. I'm sure it just it started just after I began to ask questions. I asked them over and over until my poor parents were forced to resort to arbitrary certainties. Why? I asked. Why? 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 Over and over, I wanted to regress until I hit a point where I said so was the only acceptable answer. It was at that moment that a small moment of parental authority that I felt safe. In the most bizarre and unfortunate turn of events, I fell downward into the acceptance of an end to regression. Ah, but the good was never perfect. It was it. <laughs> the good was never perfect, was it? All I wanted was the good. I wanted to maintain my happiness, my contentment, even if I was born of a less than ideal perspective. Um, but what is an ideal perspective anyway? What is the perfection that I should have latched onto? That's just the fun of it, isn't it? Isn't it real? It's a dream, my dear reader. The ideal was never real, and it was never within my grasp. To even attempt to reach it would have destroyed my happiness. The child in me could not handle this, however. Uh, so I rejected the ideal. I wanted to remain safe, yes, and it did so. And I did so until it happened. Till what happened? My father once recited a poem to me about an older world. I believe it was called Dover Beach. I can still remember the imagery, just the words that escaped me. We stood at the shoreline, waves crashing in, each wave eroding yet another piece of what I once believed. I think my father saw what was happening to me. He saw the dwindling of my dreams, the death of discovery. I can no longer rely on Abba to build my dreams back up. Left with nothing, I convinced myself that there were no dreams. Goodbye, Belle. That's her. Okay, so this map is confusing, because I swear how it started before is going up and to the left. Huh, okay. It happened. It happened. I fell. I began to defend my happiness with arbitrary walls made of certainty and realism. I created rules and structures that only had the effect of caging me in something entirely arbitrary. I did this all for the sake of happiness, yes. As the others began to encroach on my cage, the dwellers with different perspectives, I became more vigilant in my defense until I was villainous. Until I was villainous. I harmed anyone who dared change my sight. Of course, I was never a dweller. I never had their, commu their communal spirit. Even from the start of the end... Uh, I was called the Minotaur. That was simply due to my misanthropy, however, and it had hardly anything to do with my desire for the inland. Although it is true that their communal tendencies tend to make it difficult to break out of their cage, but I dare say it isn't impossible. At first I thought the inland was a farce. I had been told from the few others Minotaurs that I'd seen that it was some sort of center for enlightenment amidst our fallen world. The dwellers who had spoken to me on the subject had a far less optimistic understanding. Then again, why would they need enlightenment when certainty already exists? Minotaurs have the advantage of being self-deprecatory. Uh, that is to say, when you have no true arrogance manifested in certainty, you'll latch on to any anger you can find. It was the same for me, it seems, as I eventually adopted the notion that the inland held the answers, I also began to, began to feel as though I had none. My desperation grew as I lost all sense of truth. I began to feel my sight fading and the thought of suicide crept in. I had truly hit the bottom of the broken progression. This was an especially unfortunate place to be in as th as it then became impossible to see the upward tangent. The leap becomes obscured by void and there doesn't appear to be any progression at all. What the hell is this? These arrows are confusing. Can I go in here? No. There's a box here. Notes! So, one thing, kind of common theme I, I've felt through a lot of this game is the idea of suicide. People get dejected. People kind of re feel like their life is pointless. And then they end it. That's got to be important, but I'm not sure how. Remember that, though. I, I feel like I'm going to have to look up what this all means later on. I feel like this is going to turn away at some point. No? Exit. 
Everything changed, however, when I learned to use my dreams. I had always dreamed, of course, but the question was that of their usefulness, not their existence. I could not escape them, so the latter point was moot. Dreams had an incredibly powerful hold on one's perspective of reality, even if they have little to do with it themselves. After falling, my assumption was that the dreams existed to taunt me. Uh, they seemed to only contrast the ideal with the real. This made the real all the more depressing, but I do not believe that this is where the dreams have their use. Dreams act as impossible ideals act as impossible ideals that should never be fully grasped. Rather, they should serve only as direction for progression. These dreams will never be realized in your lifetime, dear reader, but the real will change marginally, a marginal effect caused by a relatively small part of humanity. Your task is to bring the dream of the real even if the effect is marginal. One giant leap, reader. Abraham, they call me, at least that is the name I give to the young dweller who asked me the other day. What an irrelevant question. My name isn't as important as my status as an individual. Anyway, I could see a glimmer of pointlessness in his eyes. It is the driving force behind progression, if only he can accept the marginal nature of, his, of the process. He must be able to remove his worth as an individual so that he may take his own leap for only a small reward. When meaning is deconstructed, the only driving force for progress is the acceptance of uncertainty. Dreams. The old city never offer enlightenment. On the contrary, it offers only further dreaming, and it is now time for me to take my leap. I wish more I would come along. Can I go in here? So I need to take the leap. I need to take the leap into dreaming. That sounds like death to me. <laughs> I take the leap. I begin dreaming. That sounds like dying to me. Doesn't it sound like dying to you? But here we are. We're back where we started. Alright. It's time. I must take the leap. It's all there is left to do. Alright. This has got to mean something. I'm definitely. I know I can go check out like the Steam, <laughs> Steam uh, groups after this. I gotta know what happens here. I gotta know other theories. Let's walk around the left here. See if there's anything. Nope. Oh, I'm getting chills. I don't want to take the leap. I feel like it's giving up. Watch your step. Whew. Are we back in a dream? The new. Chapter 10. I'm guessing this is the last. I'm going to keep pushing. Might be a long episode, I'm sorry. If this final dream before the new is to be trusted, then all life follows the pattern of broken progression. Some call it redemptive history, still others call it galvanization, yet the trajectory is undoubtedly the same. We exist on a familiar shoreline, with the waters lapping at our feet. We look back and see an explored and thus frozen world. Then, as if subconsciously recognizing the need for change, we dive into a prison of even further inactivity. My prison was my only friend, it seems, but even he saw fit to spit me upon a new shore. So we're in the dream. What am I looking at here? The fish jumping out of water. Whoa. I see two people over there. Oh, what do I do? people everywhere okay maybe people aren't special no I feel like I gotta go this way oh this looks so creepy 
is giving me chills. Oh, it's just chairs. <laughs> you can read this. Alright, let's go say hello to the people. What happens? Oh, I'm gonna take this slow. Oh, that's so creepy. So is this supposed to be the old city? I think so. Alright, I know I can go down there. It looks like I can also go down over there, so I'm gonna go check out these people. Oh, this is sending me chills. This game is just constantly sending me chills. Chills down my spine every time I play it. I won't lie, I do miss Leviathan. It wasn't his fault that I was a parasite, but was he necessary at all? After being cast out, was devolution in his stomach the appropriate next step? Why couldn't I have simply washed ashore to the old city? Who is Leviathan? It's one of the pressing questions. Who or what is Leviathan? Oh god. Did that just move? The hand moves, doesn't it? Maybe not. <sighs> if this is a dream, why am I dreaming, dreaming of Perhaps this? Perhaps Leviathan existed for me to discover him. Even if that which I explored was my prison. Perhaps I simply needed to see the stagnation before evolving. So, Leviathan is represented by the whale? Hopefully not the whale that died. When I was a child, I was given a rowboat. I wanted to sail. So the universe built me a galleon. How unfortunate that when I got older, I no longer wish to explore. Belief. Deduction. I've seen that before. Alright. Let's get head in. Sorry, this is going to be like a 40 minute episode. Without a doubt. I am going to explore again. I'm going to board my vessel and sail into an unknown world to dream all the more. I'll leave this dream behind to feel the sand of other shores in my hand and let it loose as I travel inward towards newness. First, however, I'll make one last dive into abyss. Got a little stuck there. I can't go I can't go further in there. Oh yeah I can. Oh this is so creepy. <gasps> the pipes! The old city. It even exists in this dream. I have to make another plunge. Sailboat. Lighthouse. Alright. Do it. Please, not another chapter. It is another chapter. Curses. I just can't stop playing. I feel like it's close. 
I might chop this up into two episodes. But I feel like I need to play it to the end. Leviathan, chapter 11. Whoa. Here lies my captor, the great sleeping fish. My foundation's been disintegrated. I'm left with nothing but void. However, the baby of belief need not be thrown out with the bathwater of certainty. An assertion from an assumption is still an assertion, making any deduction from that foundation subject to critique. I may not be able to deduce from a place that I know to be true, but that which I deduce from my dreams must still be compatible with itself. Like a child, I regressed with no end. Over and over I asked, why, as each answer demanded further questioning. Eventually, I convinced myself that the regression was nonsensical, by nature of it being childish. But what if that childlike curiosity is the vessel that can bring us to usefulness? What if we put aside the certainty and adopt discovery? Good question. What's in the next room? Oh, I, like, I feel like I can't even... I know I've said this before, but, like, I don't even want to I think sleep. I was wrong. Dover isn't where my dreams died. It's where one dream took over. I dreamt that I had no dreams. I dreamt that Dover smothered my belief with certainty. In truth, a truth that I cannot know, Dover ran red. The dream of realism created a monopoly of comfortable stagnation that held me hostage until I could do nothing but cling to Leviathan's innards for safety. My belief was not truly killed, it was captured. One belief was deemed more true than another, and I convinced myself that I was correct. I convinced myself that I could be correct. What if this dream's monopoly was disintegrated? What if I could explore a multiplicity of dreams? never quite knowing which ones are a reality. Truth must be compatible with itself, but what happens when truth is unattainable? It's certainly is beginning to sound like this man is trapped within his dreams, and it's sort of inception level, just building on a building. Nothing he sees can, he can trust, so he starts to believe in different things. The Dweller's dreams could function within themselves, from their foundation, as long as the factions recognize that foundation as a dream. What point would there be in conflict if the dreams cannot truly be controlled? They have their dreams and they cannot assert which is superior. So why not sail? Huh, so it's Minotaur the I is this? The G? Okay, so, oh, hold on. The guild, the unknowing, the order. How did I not... Guild, unknown, order. I just realized that. The guild is the I. The unknown is the question mark. The order is nothing. I wonder if that's some kind of progress bar, if it can change depending on the things you do. I just want to go down. My impulse is to go down. A giant crab. Be anything else here? Oh man, it's so cool! All right, we'll head up then.
One giant leap for man, one small step for mankind. Solomon saw the illusion for what it was. He saw that the lack of dreams was a dream itself. His downfall was in his pessimism, however. He saw the manifesting process of dreams to be too slow. But of course it is, my dear Solomon. The dreams will never manifest in our lifetime, but that's where they have their worth. The dream, the ideal, is an object whose grasp should never be fully achieved. It is in the desire for the object that our true desire should lie. We should desire to desire, and in presenting the ideal to a fallen world, we will make incremental steps towards perfection as the eschaton approaches. One giant leap for a man, one small step for mankind, Solomon. Oh, this is opened up now. I might have to edit this video a bit just to get the count down. No, crab's still there. Did he move? No. Hmm, I guess I have to go up even further. Backtrack a bit. Can't believe I didn't figure that out before. Alright, we're back to this place right here. I'm gonna go straight over here. I've not been this way before. Fall down to the crab thing, right? Yes, I can. I wonder what the purpose of that would be, though. Hmm. I'm curious what the Minotaur all has to do with this. I would tell myself that the real world has shown itself like a clear blue sky, spotless in its vast and flat nature. I tricked my own mind into believing that belief itself was not present. Now that the illusion has been revealed, I'm left believing that I can't know. I wish I... There's so many questions. What's the Minotaur? What's the Truth Leviathan? must be compatible with itself based on a starting point I can't prove. I can't assert which dream is not a dream at all because they're all just dreams. Why not discover the dreams I can't control, rather than hiding portions of them away to let what I was certain of flourish? Leviathan? Whoa. Take me in. Into the belly of the beast. Weird. One last look at my cage. One last dive into the abyss of negativity. A terrible world full of terrible people, yes, but that can be changed. Epistemic humility can regress to the deconstruction of stagnation. What I previously thought to be stagnation itself, the lack of any true knowledge, is simply the deconstruction of an anchor freeing us to traverse the unexplored. Oh man, this game is so pretty. Look at that. This has definitely gone some, down some pretty bizarre turns though. 
I swam the depths. I confronted the bottom of the redemptive check mark. I was far more negative than those who still cling to certainty, but that's part of the progression. It's part of the broken progression. In this respect, we cannot improve without first deconstructing. Now, all that's left is to rise to the surface, board my vessel, and set sail for a new and terrifyingly uncertain world. The old city has called, and I wish that more would have the bravery to join me on my journey. Set to the old city. Are we going to be loading? Or is it the end? Oh, I hope there's some kind of very satisfying ending to this. I'm at the other side. No, the bridge has been made. I'm going to the old city. Old city recreate... Er, retention. The bridge is being made. This says something different than what it did before. Is this the dream world? Is this inside Leviathan? Is this... What's real? The old city. Ugh. What does that mean? I couldn't move or do anything. I'm so confused. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happening. The end! Oh man, whoa, the end. <laughs> I made it. But is it a dream? Is it not a dream? Who knows? Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> oh. oh man, I want to do this so much. I want to read all these. Bell once recited a poem to me about an older world. I believe it was called the Belle Dame Sans Merci. Uh, I can still remember the imagery, though the words escape, words escape me. We, tr we. Rested in the forest, wind rushing past, with each touch of hair brushing away yet another piece of what I now believe. Then I woke up. Oh, man. That was an excellent game. I really enjoyed that. So many questions, so many... Oh, fabulous. Let's hit... I'm going to turn on the credits. Oh, those are the credits. Uh, that was incredible. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next series, though. Have a good day. Bye-bye.